Welcome to Phoenix's first recorded class where we're working on our handstands today. We're going to start off with our warm up where you're going to run up and down the stairs 10 times. Alternatively, if you don't have any stairs, then you're going to run up and down a step 50 times. Bear was going to show you right here. Next off is 30 jumping jacks. Make sure you do them in a row. Now we have 20 jumps forwards and backwards. If you do this over a line, you'll find it a little bit easier. Followed by 20 jumps left and right, you can use the same line. Moving on to our conditioning, you can choose between 10 and 20 sit-ups. You can either do it with your feet tucked under something like this, like your sofa, or if you're looking for more of a challenge, you can try and do it without your feet tucked under anything. Now you're going to get into a front support position, you're going to do 20 shoulder taps, just like this, switching your arms each time. Our final exercise is 20 glute bridges. These must be done slowly and controlled, squeezing your bottom the entire time. Now the warm-up's complete, we're going to start with our handstands. Our first exercise is our tuck handstand. We're going to hold this for 10 seconds two times. It's really important that you look for your hands and hide your ears with your shoulders. Once you finish that, you have two pike handstands held for 10 seconds. The same thing, looking at your hands, hiding your ears, this time just with straight legs. If your wrists are sore, be sure to give them a good shake. If you'd like a bit of a challenge, give this a go. Once you're finished, we're moving on to lunge into T, back to lunge. This exercise should be slow and controlled passing through the shapes. Next up, we have 10 bunny hops. Our aim is to try and get our bottom over our head. Now it's time to put the steps together and attempt a baby handstand. We don't want our hands and feet on the floor at the same time. Before we move on to full handstands, we want to do a reverse handstand against the wall. Once and if you are ready, you're going to try a full handstand just like this. Squeezing your tummy, looking at your hands and finishing in a lunge shape. Gripping into the floor with your hands like this makes it much easier. As a challenge, you can try a split handstand like this, going through the same steps, just kick into a splits in the air. We're all finished now, so give your wrists and your ankles a good shake as a cool down. Thank you so much for watching today. We hope to see you next week.